Welcome to the podcast, Life Under the Moon. I am your host, Sammy B, and in today's episode, we will be discussing the new moon in Gemini and what that means for us, as well as a very potential controversial topic and a very unpopular topic, which is being friends with exes. So let's dive right in. Let's begin by pointing out that the new moon in Gemini has everything to do with people, our everyday communications, whether that be co-workers, friends, family, strangers, people that you may interact with on a daily basis, people that may enter your life. This is all about energy in communication, which is a perfect time to talk about this topic of being friends with exes. Now, what exactly does that mean? Now, I'm not saying that everybody can be friends with their exes, but hear me out here, all right? And I'm talking about personal experience. Now, listen closely. I didn't realize, but I have a type. And that type is kind of hard to explain, but the three people that I've been with in my life and spent years with all have very close similarities. So who's to say that those people that I've been with wouldn't like each other because they too share the same similarities? So if I date somebody who has the same interest in the next person that I date, there is a high chance and probability that they would like each other. Now, leave me out of that. That makes sense, does it not? You have two people sharing the same interests. That can be hard to find these days. And the same goes for the other way around. I have heard a few things of my boyfriend's ex-girlfriend and I constantly think, wow, that sounds like me. That's something I would do. She sounds like me. I think I would get along with her really well. If you put your ego aside, I feel like being friends with exes and exes' ex-partners is really not that weird at all. And I don't know why society wants us to make us feel like it's weird, but they do. And it shouldn't be. Because if you think about it logically, there's nothing wrong with having a friend as an ex or an ex as a friend. Life is short. And if something didn't work out in a platonic or romantic way, so be it. But this is something that I've been kind of realizing over the last few weeks and months and maybe even years. But as you guys know me, I look at society and I dig deep and I ask the deep questions. Why is it the way this is? Why are we doing things like this? Why are we led to believe that this is the right way? Well, I'm here to tell you that we can change that. We don't have to be afraid of being friends with exes or our partner's exes. That's weird to think it's weird. And unless you have a reason to dislike them, put down your walls, put down your ego, and go celebrate life. Because I guarantee you that if you welcome somebody with the same interests into your life in, you are already making the right steps toward doing what makes you happy and not what society expects of you. Here's what I want you to do. The next time you enter a relationship, or maybe you're already in one. Take a second to think about how you feel about your partner's ex-partner. Do you hate them? Do you like them? Are you neutral? Think about how you feel. Because I guarantee you, you probably don't like them. Because that is what we are fed to believe to be right. Let's change that. Let's change the world. Let's make this a better place by changing the way that we feel about our partners, and the people that used to make them happy, the people that used to be in their life and have helped shape them to the person that you are with today. Let's celebrate them. And what better time to do it than during the new moon in Gemini, where it is all about communication. So if you have beef with somebody that you've never met, I hope that you have a reason And if there's not, then you need to give yourself a double check because that's not the way we want to share our energy in the world. And with all of that being said, let's make this world a better place. I want to take one of your guys' wishes and we want to manifest it and make that wish come true. 
Now today, I'm going to be taking my wish to all of you listening. And I wish that any of you that have any pent up problems with an ex or your partner's ex or somebody in the past that has been maybe an ex friend, an ex family member, I wish you to give them all the kindest and loving energy that you possibly can manage, even if they've done you or someone you know wrong, because forgiveness is the best medicine. Now, let's go manifest our dreams with our life under the moon. I'll see you in the next episode.